morning everybody now his lordship i did say somebody i can't remember who it was had said could we see his lordship cook something well eh? Hey. Hey? i went He's going huh <laughs> and he's there somewhere looking at the ve diving at the vegetables he's going to do what are you going to do i'm going to do fast food fast food fast food and fast as you like quicker than a pizza quicker than mcdonald's quicker than kfc um and handmade and handmade. No. Oh. Well, you're not hand making some of it. No, I know. I mean, nature made most of it, but you know, um, I'm hand making the final. He's hand making the final thing, right? right. Huh? Um, and I can safely say, no preservatives involved. Right. So, what do I start with? Well, steady. All these purchase things in these cards. Steady easy, right? Okay. Bag of stir fried vegetable. Bag. Bag of fur. Uh, a, a first time. <laughs> a, bit, uh, um, uh, a bag of stir fried vegetables from Tesco. Although. Other supermarkets are available. Right. Then, then a box of egg noodles. Egg noodles. Courtesy Fresh egg noodles. Fresh egg noodles. Fresh egg noodles. Courtesy of Tesco's. Although other supermarkets are available. And now then, this bit's important. Raw king prawns. Raw okay. king prawns. Yes, raw. Uncooked. Uncooked. Uncooked raw, raw king, king prawns. prawns. You must get raw ones because you're going to cook them. And when you cook them, it's amazing they go pink. <laughs> hey. The trouble is, if you do the pink ones, they're already cooked. So, so you don't get you're the kind from of them. Heating them up and you're hardening them up a bit. Right. Okay. And then onions. one onion. Now I know there's three, but look, they're fastened together. So I'll unfasten them and take one. Okay. Uh -huh. And and finally stir fry juice. Now a proper chef had made this himself, but this is easier. <laughs> and you're not a proper chef. And I'm not a proper chef. Um, <laughs> Well, and tonight's uh, tonight's sauce is plum and hoisin, which is Chinese. Okay, COVID free. <laughs> right. Okay, so here we go. And he uses a wok. He likes to use a wok. First thing we do is chop up the onion. Now I have my own way of doing this. Does it make you cry? No, it makes me laugh. But it's not really the best way to do it. <laughs> right. Right, but the one thing I always do... Can we take your car keys off the bench? Please. The one thing I always do is tidy up as I go along. Tidy up. Da -da 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 -dum -dum. Um, it, makes, it makes sense. <laughs> Daddy up as you go. Then we chop up the onion into small pieces. Come sir. Sometimes. How are you not crying? How does it not make your eyes water? Uh, does it make your eyes water? It makes your nose go runny. Hey? Does it make your eyes water? No. No. 
It doesn't make me cry at all. <laughs> but it never makes me cry. <laughs> right. Then, somewhere in here, there's a bottle. Oh, that's not it. of extra virgin olive oil right I always cook in olive oil because I've got a degree in science and boasting <laughs> you wouldn't think so no <laughs> but I did um, and extra virgin olive oil as far as I'm concerned is the healthiest oil to use now there will be people who disagree with me and maybe even scientists that disagree with me but that's that's my belief and I'm staying with right. it right so so we put a bit of oil in mm -hmm. there a bit we wow well, it's, yeah, it's good for you this is. All right. uh, I don't, oh heat we need heat uh, which is that one heat, All right. heat. Mm -hmm. so we'll warm that up mm -hmm. and the first thing we do is put the onions in. Let's put the onions in and let them brown off a little bit. Got to wait for the. Got to wait for it to warm up first. So I talk and use yourselves. Whilst, <laughs> whilst we do this, right? <laughs> She's too quick. Um. Right, it's not quite there. My spatula, I always use a wood spatula. Mm -hmm. I think it's gentler on the... Um, on the pan? No, on the... On the uh, on Stir fry. On, on the, the noodles. Vegetables. That's the I've got to jump in. I keep choosing the words because he's so slow sometimes in getting... Oh, <laughs> I'm not slow, I'm just thoughtful. Thoughtful. <laughs> Right, so we'll do a bit of that, look, you should waggle it around. Now you all know how to waggle it around, um, but fellas are much better at waggling it around. No, we'll miss that bit out, Brian. <laughs> right, okay. And then you stand and wait again. This is the moment where he usually gets his phone out and looks at his phone. <laughs> Every time I come in the kitchen, he's standing there with his phone in his hand. Hey. <laughs> this, is, this, is, um, this is the woman who's had her phone surgically embedded. <laughs> I don't disagree with you there. <laughs> right, now once that gets going, we then open the prawns drain off the liquid oh. or rinse them rinse right. them out drain them off and what I always do is dry them out a bit because if you don't, and you throw the water into the hot bath, it sparks off a bit and splashes you, and it hurts. Mm -hmm. so, so we'll dry them off a bit, and then, once they're dried off, we'll throw them in. But bam! And it's amazing, I like watching them go pink. But you can put other meat in, can't you, instead of prawns? Yeah, you, you can. can. I, do, I use prawns because they cook quickly. But you, uh, chicken, you can use chicken, uh, you can use beef. I suppose beef you could cook quickly because it doesn't matter if that's raw, but chicken you have to cook really through and it takes a bit longer. 
Um, what about a vegetarian one? What would you do if you were doing vegetarian? Vegetarian? Well, you could do anything with vegetarian, couldn't you? You could throw... Um, Any vegetables in instead of the throw what instead you of like fish. In, um, I would mix it up. I'd probably put some nuts in. Oh, um, nuts, yeah. Yeah. Um, and you can get corn and stuff like that, yeah. can't you? Oh, yes, you could do corn, yeah. Not sure about corn, but, you know... My, anyway. my son eats corn. Yeah. Now you can see the prawns have gone pink. Yeah. Which is marvellous. <laughs> well, these are quite big ones. So they're going to be nice and juicy. Mm -hmm. So, that's a tricky bit. The rest is... It just gets easier from here on. Now... I must add that this is my fav one of my favourite dishes that he makes. Right. And I'm very picky about what I eat. I always put herbs in. A little bit of ground coriander. I don't bother with teaspoons. Um, always, always with prawns when I find it. A little bit of fennel, which because fennel's great with. Woo! Fennel, doing too much. Fennel's great. You don't need much. Probably that much, mm -hmm. okay? Because you can really taste it when it's uh, when it's in there. And then sometimes if I'm in the mood, I throw a bit of paprika in. Ooh. That's not essential, but I just quite like it. Oh, you can. Oh, you can smell it. Mmm. Right. So, once you've done that, basically that's all cooked now and right. ready to go. It's just a case of warming it through with the veg right. and the noodles. So, next job. It's really difficult to prepare the veg. <laughs> and you do it like this. <laughs> Throw it in. And this has got bean sprouts. Oh, you want this? Chopped carrots. Yeah, bean sprouts. Bit of this, bit of that, yeah, all of that. Oh, loads of stuff. Loads of stuff. Loads of stuff, wasn't it? Okay. And then your wooden thing stirs it all up, warms it all through. Yeah, now the important thing with a stir fry, in my view, and a, a proper chef might disagree with me, but it's to keep the veg moving and the stir fry moving because. It's not in here. Oh, there's broccoli in there as well. Yeah. I can see broccoli. Um, it's not in here for that long, really. Um, yeah. You want it to be hot when it comes out. Right. So if you keep it moving and turning, you make sure that it stays warm and cooking right through. through huh? Okay. Now, the next thing is you need um, Pair of scissors, oh, where's my juice? And your sauce. Mm hmm. And you basically throw the sauce in. And I like to make sure we get the lot. Mm hmm. Like that. And you get it going. Stir it through. Stir it through. Now, now, that's right, that's going to warm up and very soon after that we throw in the, the noodles, but as I said at the beginning, we'll just tidy up as I go along. Tidy up, da 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 dum dum. You didn't used to, didn't you, not? Not when I was a lad. No, but I've learned. <laughs> Diddly -dee. Diddly -dee 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 -dee. So that's now got a nice boil going on. So all we really now have to do is warm up the noodles. And I put them in like this and spread them out. If you 
I don't like to throw them in as one dollop. Now, we'll go back to where we came in here with the veg. You've got to keep it moving to make sure that A, the sauce gets spread and B, the noodles warm up. And then you get your phone out for a minute to look at your phone. See if anybody sent you a text message or football score and oh. and uh, cricket if there's cricket. Not that no there's cricket, any cricket, no, no cricket, cricket now. Season, no. Um, and um, see if anybody you? sent you messages. Mm, yeah, because sometimes men are just put. Ronaldo has tested positive. Oh! Oh, hey, he's quite old as well. How old is he? 26. <laughs> 35. 35. Anyway, he'll be fine. He's a professional athlete. We've just been, we got a phone call yesterday, this, this afternoon. We're supposed to be going to get our flu jab tomorrow and uh, they've said they've, they've got none. And I think it's the same all over the country. They've put us on the waiting list told us we could try the chemists down the road and we've rung a few chemists and they're all said they haven't got any so i think there's a shortage of flu vaccine at the moment uh, i blame the swiss oh yes well i don't know if they make it but i had read that apparently they're more the swiss pharmaceutical factory is moving and that there's a two-week delay on everything so maybe that's it or maybe everyone in the uk is demanding a flu jab and well, we didn't know that over 65s have a different flu jab to everybody else. Yeah, apparently it's different. That's really strange, I think. So, I could pretend I was 50. No. No, you don't look 50. <laughs> Your jowls are sagging a bit now. <laughs> I, could have, I could do like they do in Hollywood and uh, have a facelift. <laughs> well, okay. Anyway, so I don't know how long we've been making this, but 12 it's, minutes. It's ready. It's ready, so you need plates. Oh no, he puts them in a bowl. He always likes to put stir fries in a bowl. And he has two bowls that he uses. This is probably more than we really need, but two bowls. Ta da! Ta da! And then I shall come over there. Got a one hanging over the edge. One, two, three. Mm. That's gorgeous. Four. He's not the best of servers, though. He likes the dangly bits dripping over the edge, don't you? It's it. Adds a little bit to it, I think. Don't you? There you go. Find some nice, nice bit. There's a prawn on the top. There you go. Um, I shall tidy up the edge, and that is. That's a stir fry. Uh, that is time taken. Thirteen minutes forty-four. There you go. And we're going to sit down and eat it now. Well done, chef. Thank you, mum.